Administrators with access within a group can also create media albums. Media albums are a way for you to upload media, including um, images, to share with group members. To create a media album from your group dashboard, go ahead and select album from the left side. Select add album. Provide a title. Optional description. And then establish the settings at the bottom. If you want to enable group members to comment on images that you post in your album, leave it like this. Instructors and students can also add media. So if you want to allow students to be able to add media uh, to this album, you're going to go ahead and leave it as it is. If you do not want it, you're going to go ahead and click it. So it says only instructors can add media. Notice how the box becomes grayed out. Again, if you want to disable comments as well, you would click it. So see how they're grayed out. And if you want to enable them again, you can enable them. Go ahead and click create. And now at this point, it's going to ask you to attach a file. So you'll be uploading a file from your computer's hard drive. Go ahead and select an image. Upload it and click add media. Once I've created my album and uploaded a photo, I now see that I can access what's called a, a sample, al sample album. If I click the album, I go in here and I see that my first image is and was added by me. I can select to add more media if I like to within this. So now we have two photos uploaded to this media album. If I want to go back to see all my media albums, I go ahead and click media albums at the top and I see that my sample album now has two photos. I can click the image that I originally uploaded and it'll take me right in back into the photo album itself. I do have some options to edit media in here. So if I select edit media, I can also include captions. So if I hover over them, and I can select which one of these photos in the album I want to make for the cover album. We can see that the first album, the first image that you upload will default to the album cover, but I can change it if I want to and make this photo the album cover, and I'm going to do that now. If you want to delete media that you've uploaded to your album, you would select delete and then save changes. We're not going to delete this one. Go ahead and save my changes. Oops in my captions, save changes, go back to my album, go back to my all my media albums. Again, here's the sample album, and we can see that the cover page has been changed to the Mount McGill logo. And we see that the captions have shown up at the bottom here as a small description of what that is. I'm now going to switch to the student perspective. So in this case, this is a student who's a member of this video game club group. I can see that there's one media album now. Here's the sample media album. If I click the image, it takes me to it. And I can see from the group member perspective, all the captions and information is here. Because the instructor, the admin of the group has allowed members to contribute and add their own media to this, I have the option to add media here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload media. And as I add media here, I do have the option to add captions. As I switch back to the admin perspective, once I reload my page, I now see that there are three photos. If I click a photo that was uploaded by somebody else, I see that I can comment on it. If I go back to my album, This was added by Eric Brown. If I'm the instructor and I go in, I can see my comment that I posted here. 
let's take a look at these the member perspective so i'm back in the student perspective i'm going to go ahead and reload and if i go ahead and click the image that i uploaded i can see the comment was right here and then of course i can comment as well 